On March 4, 1982, John Belushi, Smith, and former SNL writer Nelson Lyons spent the evening partying together. The trio ingested massive quantities of liquor and snorted even larger quantities of cocaine. They stumbled all over West Hollywood looking for the next party and ended up at the secret nightclub above the Roxy called on the rocks. From there, they walked next door to the Rainbow Room and ate. Belushi had a bowl of lentil soup. He began to feel nauseous and asked Smith to take him back to his room at the Chateau Marmont. According to Smith, Belushi asked her to shoot him up with a needle full of drugs several times that night. Belushi, who is deathly afraid of needles, seemed to like the high, she claimed. While the couple sat around in a dazed state, two famous persons stopped by to see them. Comedian Robin Williams popped in and snorted a few lines of coke, but was creeped out by Smith. He thought she was a little too crusty for Belushi and wondered what he was doing with this lowlife. Williams bolted and told Belushi, If you ever get up again, call. Sometime after three in the morning, actor Robert De Niro knocked on Belushi's door. He had been playing tag with Belushi all night. The scene inside the room was not pretty, so De Niro decided to not stick around. John Belushi and Kathy Smith continued to shoot up until Smith decided she had to leave. She helped Belushi shower and put him to bed before taking off in his Mercedes. She noticed on the way out that he was breathing funny. The next morning, John's personal trainer, Bill Superfoot Wallace attempted to check on his friend. When he received no answer on the telephone, he went over to Belushi's bungalow. Inside, he found his friend in the fetal position on the bed, sheets twisted, and a pillow over his head. When Wallace threw the pillow aside, he saw Belushi's tongue sticking out of his mouth in a horrid discoloration of his body on one side where all of his blood had settled. Wallace attempted to resuscitate Belushi but to no avail. Belushi was dead. The official coroner's report stated that John Belushi died from acute cocaine and heroin intoxication. He was only 33 years old. Kathy Smith was arrested and charged with first-degree murder for her role in the injection of the lethal doses that killed Belushi. She later bargained down to manslaughter and spent 18 months behind bars.